In this video, I am going to introduce futures trading as well as walk you through on how to start trading futures on Binance. Now, some of the reasons why it is fun to try out futures includes leverage. In futures, you will be opportune to increase your available capital by up to 100 times or more or less depending on the crypto assets you are trading or the platform let's say you have ten dollars capital to trade and you went for 100s your capital will become one thousand dollars if you went for 10s that will be hundred dollars 20s that will be two hundred dollars because of leverage you will be making bigger gains in the market relative to what is happening in the spot market and if you have a target you will hit it very quickly and this is the most fascinating aspect of futures you are able to trade in any direction you want in futures we call this long and short long is to buy short is to sell of course Futures has a downside and the downside stems from the fact that you are borrowing money with a collateral known as margin in futures. When things do not go in your favor for you to make these bigger profits, you could definitely be losing your capital. This is known as liquidation and that is why you don't want to over leverage. Some of the platforms you could trade futures on include Binance. Binance is very popular not only because it is the biggest. On Binance, you will have access to more crypto assets on futures. Next, you have other platforms that are dedicated to futures solely, like BitMess, you have Marges. You have Bybit and a lot of them. I trade more on Binance, but I am signed up on the other platforms I listed here as alternative in case Binance stops people in my country of residence from participating in futures. My link is in the description of this video for these platforms if you want to sign up on them. Next, let's see how to trade futures on Binance. I love to use my PC for trading, use TradingView for my analysis, but I also sometimes use my phone, just as many people do. Um, for this tutorial, I'm going to use phone. To access the futures section of Binance, you will see futures at the bottom. Click on it and you will be on this page. On top, you have USD futures and coin futures the difference is that the usdm futures is calculated in usdt stable coin so your losses and profit will be in usdt whereas coin m futures is calculated in that particular coin if you are trading btc usdt or bmb usdt it will be calculated in that coin and it will be affected by the volatility of the market if you are not an advanced user, I wouldn't recommend you trade coin M futures. Even myself, I love to trade USDT M futures because I already have a lot of crypto assets that are always fluctuated. So I do not want to complicate my life. And this could save you in the bear market because that time you are accumulating more USDT to buy the dip in the other crypto assets you are interested in. So this example will be based on USDM. Next, you are able to select the market you want to trade. From this place, you saw BNB USDT. If you click on it, you'll be able to type in maybe its USDT or compound USDT. You see that the candlestick icon here. We open the chart. You could go here and click on drawing and you know you are able to do more stops on the chart let me close the chart the next icon is a conversion tab 
where you could quickly convert from USDT to any asset of your choice. This will come handy if you are trading coin M futures. The next section you will see cross. If you bring it down, you will see isolated. Cross implies that when you enter a thread, your whole capital is going to be used as margin. Let me break this down. Let's say you have $500 and you enter the thread with $50. If the market goes against you by 100%, if you are trading with cross, you will not be liquidated. Your floating losses will continue and you will only be liquidated whenever your $500, which is your total capital made available on future session, finishes. That is cross. Now, if you do not want this to happen, then you go for isolated. With isolated, only the amount of money you stake in the thread will be liquidated when you get a, a liquidation call. If you have $500 and you stake $50, once the market goes against you by 100%, you will be liquidated. Your capital will remain $450. The next is where you select your leverage if you click on it you could scroll up and down or type in the leverage amount you want to use coming to the next one funding and countdown binance rewards or deducts money from those who trade futures from the trading fees and this goes this way uh, you can see there is this countdown this happens every five or seven hours. I'm not so sure. As you can see, it remains about three hours. So if you are long and this countdown ends, if the funding rate percentage is positive, money will be deducted from you. But if it is negative, you will get some reward from Binance. If you are short, it is the vice versa. If it ends and the funding rate is positive, you get money. If it is negative, money will be deducted from you. This is just tiny, insignificant money. I haven't even noticed this since I started trading futures. Before you can start trading futures, you have to transfer the capital you want to use to trade futures to this futures section. To do that, click on wallets, click on transfer, and select under to select futures usd m futures okay so i want to move maybe for the purpose of this uh, tutorial i will move in let's say hundred dollars or should i move 500 okay let me just move it 200 dollars i'm not really gonna use a lot transfer from the wallet session, you will see that in USDT and futures, you have $200. Now go back to futures section. I want to trade BNB USDT. I will show you an example with cross and an example with isolated. For leverage, I'm going to make it 20S. Let me get to 20S. You could also type it in 20. Now, under amount, you are required to type in the amount of BNB you want to thread from this max. The best way is to use the scroller and select how much USDT you want to put in this thread. And how you see that is to look at cost session. As I scroll this, you see your cost goes up and goes down, right? So I want to put in let's say twenty dollars for this particular thread this is not how i thread or how you should thread this is just an example sometimes you may not get exactly that number but 19.95 is already twenty dollars and we are trying the limit order i want to show you what happens when you place a limit order sorry i missed to select price you know when you are in limit you have to select price now the current price of the market is around 492 since I'm placing a limit order, it means I want to get it at a better day. So maybe I will type in 492.1. 
and I will now go here and select the BNB. I want to put in $20, like I said. So that's 19.94. That's the cost. On confirm page, the most important thing to note here is your estimated liquidation price. This shows you that when the market goes against you and the price falls to 246.98, your position will be liquidated. Now let's confirm by. When you go down, you will see in position it is zero because there is no thread going. In open orders, you have one. This is where pending orders are shown. Now let's cancel this and place a market order so that it goes immediately. I will change this to markets. When you are using the market order, you don't need to put price because it will select price from the current market price. And I still want to make it $20. Now look at what's going to happen. So my liquidation price is still 244.6. That 244.6, what it means is you will be stopped out when your $200 has been used up. Even though you are going in with $20, this market is looking at your whole capital because you are using cross and not isolated. Now let's look at what is going on down here. Open orders is not no pointing orders, but in position, you already have a thread going on. Some of the things you will see there will be your leverage, your risk. This risk meter, when it hits 100%, your account will be liquidated. So when it starts getting to 100%, Binance would send you an email to do something about your account. Unrealized profit and loss is very clear, shows you whether you have floating profit or floating loss. Margin is the minimum amount of money you need to keep this position open. From this icon at TPSL, you could add your take profit price and your stop loss price. Let's say I want to take profit when BNB hits 1000. This is the profit I will make if I hold this position at 20S and BNB hits 1000. I'm going to make this profit 405 and then you could also put your stop loss let's say BNB goes to 200 you're going to lose 234 of course this will not be possible because your liquidation price is around 246 so you will even be stopped up before you get to that level and you don't want to do this kind of thing maybe you could say 300 which is still bad for your capital right but this is just an example when you are done just go ahead and confirm and set it from this menu, you can adjust your leverage. You could adjust your leverage by moving it up or moving it down. When you move down your leverage, your position will be increased. For instance, if you are using 20S leverage and you are trading with $20, if you move down your leverage by half, more $20 will be invested, making it $40. In exchange, the rate at which you make profit and the rate at which you record loss will diminish by half because you have gone down to 10s. If you move your leverage up, what will happen is that your position will be reduced. But your the rate at which you make profit and the rate at which you record loss will increase. All right. There is also the place you could uh, set stop profit and loss. From close position, you could close all your position. So let's go ahead and close this position and then we will experiment with isolated. So I'm closing this position with a tiny profit. Yeah, we made profit, right, from futures. Next, let's experiment with isolated. Confirm. $20. dollars i want to use market order since we have already shown the difference between market and limit. So let's buy this. Let's go to positions. What I want to show you here is the liquidation price. You see, when we, we are using the other one, uh, cross, and we stacked $20, the liquidation price was $246. That is when the market 
reduces and gets to $246, I will be liquidated, which may not happen in the current bull run. What it also meant was that my total $200 was being looked at. But now that I am using isolated, you see the liquidation price is $471. The current market price is $494. That means it is so close. But what will happen here is once the market goes against me and the price falls to $471, only my $20 will be liquidated not my $200. I will still have $180 to try, okay? So that is isolated. Now in isolated, there is a feature you will see next to margin. That button is a feature for you to add margin. What it means is for you to make more money available for the trade. It doesn't mean you are buying any coin. It doesn't mean you are adding it to your ongoing trade but you are making it available, just like in cross. For instance, if I want to make more margin available, remember the liquidation price here, 471, right? Now let, let's add more margin. So I click on that plus sign. Maybe I want to give my thread more room to breathe and I have more money. So let me just add in. You see, I have $180, which I can add. So let me add let's say eighty dollars you will see how it will affect the liquidation price you see that now the liquidation price has gone down to 371 dollars now what this means is even though i have 20 dollars stacked in this thread the market will not stop me out when i i am when I am losing $20, it's going to stop me out when I lose $20 plus the $80 I've added. That is $100, right? $371. You could also remove the margin. Let me remove it. Select remove. And you type in $80. You will see that the liquidation price will jump back to where it was before. So that's $471. So that's basically that. As you can see, look at that. My trade is already on profit by 18%, the power of leverage. If it were to be on the spot market, that would be 0.9%. But because I am using TOTS, it's 18%. So that's just that. I'm sure this video was helpful. I am going to make more videos on futures, but the very Next video I'm going to make will be a video on what I call the Royal Q Miracle, in which I'm going to show you how Royal Q can definitely change your life financially. I'm sure you're excited to see more videos from me. If you are, please like this video and comment. I notice that people do not comment on my videos, but they watch. Maybe people do not like my videos. No, I'm kidding. Just go ahead and comment in the comment section. Give this video a like. We will see ourselves in the next big one. Until then, see you in the next video.